City Pulse is sponsored by CN Vision Image Consulting, Chi, an international focus magazine. Music provided by Houston's own Dynamic Sound. HTV supports local businesses. Hello and welcome to City Pulse a show for the city of Houston, featuring stories about city council members, the districts they serve, city departments, and attractions all around town. I'm your host, Regina Woolfolk, Deputy Director of Public Affairs with the Houston Police Department, which holds the distinction of being the fifth largest law enforcement agency in the nation. Duties of my office include media relations, community outreach, and special projects. My office coordinates a number of community events like National Night Out and other events, and one that is near and dear to my heart, the Kamita Food Drive. We'll chat with Officer Jeremy Lehar, who is one of the coordinators of the drive later in the show. Also on today's show, new affordable housing is coming to Northeast Houston. A visual aid in experiencing something different and the ornaments of the magnificent tree in front of City Hall. But our top story is an HPD policy change for Sikh officers and the wearing of religious clothing. Chief Art Aceveda and Mayor Sylvester Turner announced the new policy at a recent press conference. Houston Police Department is now the largest law enforcement agency in Texas and one of the largest two or three in the nation. Uh, to adopt a policy allow allowing officers who are Sikhs uh, to wear their articles of faith on duty. Okay, I'm Deputy Sandeep Dhaliwal with Harris County Sheriff's Office. If you have the heart of a servant and the light of a servant in your soul, like Sandeep Dhaliwal had, please come and apply at the Houston Police Department. Our policy is intact. It is open. I actually signed it officially back in October, and today our message is clear. We are a welcoming community, we're a welcoming police department, we're a diverse police department, we're reflective of the community we serve, and you cannot truly have legitimacy in relational policing unless you're reflective of the community that we serve. Yes, I had a head turns, but those head turns is good for me. And I say, hey, how, how are you? You have a question? The work of Deputy Sandy Dalawal laid the, the foundation uh, for, this, for this day. Um, which means that through his service, uh, his service, his commitment, the way he served, uh, the dedication and the passion that he gave to his job made this day possible. Um, and to his father, I want you to know, and his family members, um, the, the, the legacy of your son is very strong. And the commitment of the C community is, is very strong in our city and could not be more proud to be standing before you at this time. But diversity doesn't mean much if it's not about being inclusive. Uh, having that diversity to be a part of the table uh, of opportunity. And today we are making sure that that diversity is represented around the table of public service in the city of Houston. With holidays fast approaching, HPD is servicing the community in a different way with the 34th annual Comita Food Drive. Partners and sponsors include Fiesta Mart, PepsiCo, the Houston Police Foundation, Police and Clergy Alliance, Houston Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association, and local area churches. Here to talk about this unique food drive is Houston Police Officer and Food Drive Coordinator, Officer Jeremy Lehar. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Real quick, let us know how this is a unique food drive and how people can support it. Well, it's a food drive that a lot of people don't know has been going on for the last 34 years. Started a long time ago with two officers, and now it's grown from 600 boxes to about 3,700 boxes, and each box feeds a family of five. And we're can people support it? How do they support the food drive? Um, they can support us uh, on by coming by the 14 area Fiesta locations uh, from December 5th through the 8th. 
We'll be there. We'll be there with different volunteers asking for donations, or you can do it from the comfort of your own home by going on to the Houston Police Department's website, which they'll have links that'll take you to a page where you can go ahead and donate directly. Tell me a little bit about the contents of the boxes and what people can expect to, to be a recipient. It's definitely enough in there to let you put a good hearty meal together to feed a family of five, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, you're going to have rice, sugar, flour, uh, meat, canned goods. It, it, it's really a lot in a little, in a little bit of uh, a little box and it goes a long way. So it's really something that we look forward to uh, and we, we, look, we really appreciate our partners with Pepsi and um, Fiesta for allowing us to come in and use their space to uh, put this food, this food drive together. And just like we said at the beginning, this is a unique drive. It's a little different than others. And tell us in, in what ways, and more specifically because it's basically in Fiesta stores. Yes, ma'am. So we set up in Fiesta, right? And we can't do it without our partners. Our partners being the PACA, Police and Clergy Alliance, uh, the Houston Police Academy Alumni Association, um, Fiesta Pepsi, as I mentioned, and they're the ones that put in the sweat equity. They're putting the time in, depending on how much time they put out there, they get enough hours, they earn those boxes, and then those boxes go to less fortunate families from those churches that are involved as well. Officer Lehar, thank you so much for the information. Thank you. For more information about how you can receive a food basket or support the Comita Food Drive, call 713-308-3200. TxDOT needs your help to end a 19-year streak. We'll explain after this. One, two, three days to kick off your holidays in downtown Houston during the ultimate Thanksgiving weekend. See high-flying balloons, fans, and more for the whole family at the HEB Thanksgiving Day Parade. Be naughty and nice at Thingamajingle, downtown's holiday block party on Main Street. And don't miss the 100th anniversary of the Reliant Lights Mayor's Holiday Spectacular. Visit downtownhouston.org for more information and unwrap downtown. One, two, three. Ah! You saved me. Dad? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Dusk is the best time to watch the bats take flight from their Wabridge home. Welcome back. Driving-related deaths are sadly a too common occurrence on Texas roadways. So many, in fact, that TxDOC has documented at least one traffic fatality daily for the last 19 years. But the department's In the Street Texas campaign looks to change all that. We gather here today to mark a very grim anniversary and encourage everyone to help us end the streak of daily deaths on our road. We're here to generate more awareness of In the Street Texas, what it means and why it matters, but more importantly to talk about what each one of us can do to stop the incomprehensible loss of life on our roadways. I'm looking at families who have been permanently, permanently impacted by what has taken place on our roadways. Last year, there were 64,000 crashes that resulted in nearly 200 deaths right here in the city of Houston. These are families whose lives will be uh, impacted for the rest of their lives. This year, I signed what we call Vision Zero, and that is to bring the number down to zero accidents by 2030. Some people have said, Mayor, that is certainly too ambitious, where the reality is one life loss of life is one too many. And on a lighter note, the city of Houston is gearing up for its annual holiday spectacular with decorating this magnificent tree in front of City Hall. From Grants Pass, Oregon to the Bayou City, the tree stands an impressive 70 feet high. Boxes of lights and ornaments were unpacked and the crew strung the lights and over 4,000 ornaments. We are definitely ready to celebrate at the end of the month. Affordable housing around town can be as troublesome as finding a decent parking spot downtown, but relief is coming to Northeast Houston thanks to Complete Communities. 
I am happy to be here with you. Houston is a resilient city with residents who want safe, affordable homes and apartments in areas that offer opportunities that support a high quality of life. The Green Oaks Apartment Development is designed to close the substantial shortage of affordable housing by creating 177 affordable apartment units for families in Northeast Houston. And I want to see uh, hard-working professionals and communities have access to a nice standard of living and jobs, transportation and amenities as a complete community. The Green Oaks Apartment Development is designed to close the substantial shortage of affordable housing in the city of Houston. And today's groundbreaking represents the beginning of a new relationship with Amtex, and I want to welcome them to the city of Houston. Please give Amtex a big hand. More City Pulse after this. We know you didn't do it. Just confess. Okay, you're right. I didn't use the 311 app. I mean, I saw the pothole, but I just got lazy. I mean, I didn't use the 311 app. You are pathetic. Who says that kind of stuff? Use the City of Houston app for all your 311 needs. Whether you need a hand shopping for groceries, using up scraps, or finishing every bite, Meal Prep Mate can help you plan better and save more. Whether you're a newbie getting your first taste, a meal prepper honing your chops, or a meal prep pro hungry for a challenge, you can learn how to eat smarter, plan better, and save more at every step of meal prep. When you finish every bite, you save. Start prepping with Meal Prep Mate at SaveTheFood.com. The Kennedy Bakery Building is said to be one of the oldest haunts in Houston. Welcome back. Looking to explore and experience different cultures and ethnic food? Visit Houston has got you covered. It's hard to believe that next week is the start of the holiday season with the HEB Thanksgiving Day Parade and the Reliant Lights Mayor's Holiday Spectacular. You want to be sure to come downtown and experience all these wonderful activities. That does it for this edition of City Pulse. I'm Regina Woolfolk. And until next time, have a great day and thanks for watching City Pulse on HTV. Your story, your voice, your station. They don't have the prompter. Do they want me to start from the top? Look at it real quick. So it's hard to believe that next week is the start of the holiday season. It just tra traverses along. Okay. And I'll just keep my eyes on the prompter. 
Impact. Have a great day, and thanks for watching City Pulse on HDB.